Hey YouTube. Um, AR-15 guy here. So I'm back out in my garage. Um, it's gotten cleared up and straightened up and I'm able to use my bench again and able to use my backdrop again. So pretty, ex uh, pretty excited about that, pretty stoked about that. Um, what I want to do on this video is uh, I want to go over a few things on how to get started on YouTube. Some, some basic things. Um, things that uh, if I'd have known um, when I first started would have been very helpful. Um, there's a lot of videos and a lot of information out there. Um, I watched a ton of them, but I think some of them um, gave out good points, um, but they didn't kind of tie everything together. And uh, so what I'm trying going to try and do is tie things together um, and and. Uh, um, make it pretty simple. Um, the first step, the first thing you want to do is get a high definition camera. Um, if you're doing YouTube videos, you want something that is going to be able to uh, do detail, especially if you're going to be doing close up shots or, um, uh, you know, things where you're going to be dealing with little pieces or little spots or little parts or whatever the case may be is, you're going to want a high definition camera to be able to focus in on those. Um, and show the detail um, as well as it makes it more enjoyable for your viewers to watch um, it's really tough to watch a blurry face or a blurry background um, so having a high definition camera uh, definitely helps out also allows people to watch it on their you know large uh, high definition TVs um, and so it just opens up that uh, opens up your uh, ability to be viewed um, opens that up a lot. The second thing I would say is um, get yourself a common background. Um, Some place where you can do videos where it's quiet, not going to have a lot of family noise or um, heaters kicking on or um, you know different things. Some place where you can do a video and you don't have to worry about that stuff. Um, the second thing I would say is put out lots of videos, um, one a day, one every other day, two, three a week uh, when you first start. The more videos you have, uh, the more views you're going to get, um, the more views you get, it kind of just builds on itself. Um, the more videos you create, the more your name gets put out there, um, a lot easier it is to get subs and views. Uh, which are all things that you're looking to do if you're looking to make some money. If you're just looking to have some fun, um, then, it, then none of this really applies. Just do what you do what you want to do. Um, if you're looking to to make a little bit of profit on it, um, invest up front uh, the time and the money, um, and you'll you'll get that back. So, like I said, first thing to do: get yourself a good video camera. Second thing to do is get yourself a backdrop, um, someplace where you can vi uh, film regularly, isn't going to have a lot of noise or distractions. Um, someplace uh, you don't have to film there every single time, you don't have to fil film in the same uh, position. Um, just something, you know, when people see your videos, they know who you are because of, uh, of the way your backdrop shows up and that sort of thing. Um, the other thing is, is uh, Get out a bunch of videos, um, put them out as often as you can, um, come up with good subjects, be knowledgeable in the subjects, um, or state it as your opinion. Um, I get hammered a lot because I give opinion and I don't state it as opinion. People think I'm trying to push it off as fact. So state your opinion, um, make it clear that it's your opinion, um, and then don't be afraid to state facts. Um, it's gonna, sometimes it's going to be controversial and you'll get a bunch of trolls and who cares. Um, they're viewers um, and you're getting paid for it. So that would be the, the other thing. The, the fourth thing is make your videos somewhat short. Uh, good rule of thumb, three to five minutes. Anything over five minutes, unless you've got really good content, it's just going to go away. People are just going to shut off. Um, they're not going to watch. They're going to see a nine minute video and they're going to go, I don't want to watch that. So they don't want to invest that kind of time. And they'll watch anything for three to five minutes pretty much. 
um, uh, if they and if you do it in a, in a way that intrigues them um, you'll be able to keep them for five minutes it's a lot harder to keep them for nine minutes so make sure you keep your videos down like I said three to five minutes um, is a good uh, starting ratio um, sometimes you're gonna have videos that are gonna go over just make sure you're doing a good job at capturing your audience uh, the next thing I would say is make it consistent um, you know Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or something like that, put out videos on a fairly consistent basis. I've been horrible at that. Uh, my channel has suffered a little bit because of that. Um, so it is beneficial to you to be consistent. Um, you know, people are going to go check your channel out, see what videos you've put up this week, or they're going to check their subscription list. And um, if they like you, they're going to be checking for your videos. Um, and they're going to get bored and not watch you if you're not popping up videos on a fairly regular basis they'll just uh, they'll just unsubscribe so keep your subscribers uh, make sure you're being consistent um, once you get established um, I would say once you get a hundred uh, hundred subs or more and I would say 30,000 views or more um, then you can go to a once a week thing but I would say stay a couple times a week uh, until you hit that mark. I've done 145, this will be 146 or 47 videos uh, since I started. Um, a lot of my videos started, uh, a lot of my videos came when I first started when I was just trying to get my name out there. So, <clears throat> quick overview, good video camera, 1080p preferably. It's going to open up the ability for uh, your videos to be watched on a wide variety of uh, uh, media outlets. Um, the second thing is make sure that you have a good backdrop, something that's pretty common, something that you can use that doesn't uh, get a lot of interference and noise. Um, third thing is make uh, videos consistently. Um, the more videos you have, the more chances for views, the more, uh, more subscribers you're going to gain. Uh, the fourth thing is keep your videos down to uh, anywhere from three to five minutes and um, and and make it good content if you're gonna go over that three to five minute mark make sure it's something people are gonna be interested in pay attention to your videos see what people are hitting on the most and kind of duplicate that process um, even if it's a different topic the next thing is um, be consistent put out videos on a fairly consistent basis um, when you're first starting out you know Monday Wednesday Friday or Tuesdays and Thursdays or Saturdays and Sundays or you know when you're doing it make sure it's on a uh, on a fairly routine thing people are going to be looking for those videos to come out once they start subscribing um, once you hit uh, you know 100 subscribers and 30,000 40,000 hits um, then you can start breaking down to once a week but make sure you maintain that once a week um, or your channel will start to to see the repercussions of that. You'll start losing subs or you won't be gaining them as fast. Your views will drop off, things like that. So the only other thing I would say is just have fun at it. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't, um, you know, if you say something that doesn't sound quite right as far as, you know, your grammar or whatever, don't beat yourself up over it. People like to interact and feel like they're interacting with a human and not somebody who's, you know, uh, a professional um, that I to me when I watch people um, on YouTube who are overly professional and overly um, uh, uh, a perfectionist or you know their videos are you know really good I have a harder time inter you know wanting to interact with them because I'm thinking you know they got a gazillion subscribers they're not going to pay attention to, to me um, so being more being more yourself um, not being perfect, I think, opens you up to having more interactions with your subs. So anyway, guys, those are my tips on, uh, on how to get your YouTube channel up and going and becoming successful. Um, I'm starting to make decent money at it now. Um, I could probably be doing a lot better if, I hadn't, um, if there hadn't been so many times where I'd missed weeks of uh, putting videos up. But um, I'm going to start... I'm going to try and be more consistent with that um, as well as um, as well as uh, just putting out good content so anyway guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing um, if you like the video please definitely hit the like 
Um, for any of you guys that have been doing this a while, maybe put out a video of, of things maybe I missed. But uh, anyway, thanks guys and have a great night.